I don't know whether you can hear me or not. But come and see me here. Come and see me, please. Should I say Mrs. Poe or Miss Poe? Just call her by her name. I only know old people by their last name. It's Agnes. God, your hands are so sweaty. It's freaking hot in here. And I told you I didn't want to wear this sweater vest. I look like my dad. Well, that's better than everything else that you have in your closet. Plus, it was on sale. The mannequin at the store didn't even want to wear it. That's why it was on sale for like 80% off. Shh. It's orange, you can't fix it. Oh my God. I'm sorry about the mess, but if it's all the same to you, I just don't feel like cleaning up one more thing just for appearance sake. I don't mind. So tell me your names again. Uh, I'm Rob. Whitney. And this is my fiance, Robert. Well, Whitney and Robert. <laughs> I, I haven't actually done this before without Harold. We always used to tag team in these things, you know? He was so good at giving marriage advice. No. So when's the wedding? August of next year. Goodness gracious, that's your rookie year of marriage, lost right there. Well, um, the venue is... Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Save your daddy some money and it'll elope. Make it just about the two of you. I mean, instead of throwing a big shindig for people who don't even know when your birthday is. <clears throat> uh, I, I bet it's been hard without uh, Mr. Poe. Harold? Like plowing through cement. Yeah. My great-grandmother died last year, so I know exactly how you feel. The only life advice I'll ever give you is this. Don't ever tell anyone who's just lost a loved one that you know exactly how they feel, because you don't. We're all human, sure. But I'm not you and you're not me. And if you don't know what to say, just don't say anything. Especially that stupid phrase. Let me drive! Move! I wore this sweater vest for you. You couldn't say anything else in there? What did you want? I don't know anything. Anything. You just sat there like an idiot. Here I am, on a Monday, all dressed up. In the right place at the wrong time. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, for the first few months after Marty died, I missed most of my doctor's appointments because I couldn't get my days straight. <laughs> my pill box at home even told me what days to take what, but oh, I'm sure I took my AM pills at night once or twice. It was like I had some sort of Grief Alzheimer's or something. Heck, I nearly forgot to put a bra on most days. <laughs> of course, Marty didn't mind that a bit. <laughs> Used to call them freedom fighters. <laughs> Why is it that when death comes about, all you ever get from people is bad advice and casseroles. 
Fiddlesticks and cheese, I don't know. People just don't know what to say about death. At Marty's funeral, the condolences I got were practically just all out of context Bible verses. I mean, you couldn't pin those scriptures on the donkey Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Then they'd follow that up with a casserole. It looked like it had stage four spinach cancer or something. <laughs> Uh. I've been sleeping with my glasses on at night, just in case I see them in my dreams. Hey, from a widow to a widow, after being married for most of your life, it's, it's hard to learn to live alone. You have to have the phone number of that gal that did the, uh, you know, the contact. Oh, uh, um, um, yeah. Um, I do, but... Are you sure? No. I understand. Let me go get it. Whatever happens, just try and keep an open mind. Visit us tonight, Harold. I see a man. I feel his presence in this room, with us, with you. Come and see me, Harold. Oh, he's here. I don't see him. Uh, I get the sense that he, he died um, suddenly and without pain. Does that make sense to you? He had cancer. A simple yes or no would suffice. I see a baby floating in water. Did you have kids? No. Yes, I had a miscarriage. That would explain where your negative energy is coming from. Harold is telling me that, that he wants you to forgive yourself. He knows I already have. He's saying he's sorry. Okay. That he can't come see you. Let me speak to him. He's, he's stuck. Stop it! Stop it! Now you need to keep it open. Shutting up will suffice, Missy. He is not stuck. And neither one of us has anything to be sorry for, especially him. And I wasn't asking where he is. I know where he is. I was asking to see him. Taking advantage of a, of a widow with your, with your abracadabra bullcrap. I ought to smack the bad juju right off your face, you, you supernatural witch. I'll give him right back. 